Logic of Jan, what are we gonna do? <laughs> Jay, and today I'm here with yet another book haul. Are we really surprised? Your girl went to the thrift store. And when we go to the thrift store, we have no self-control. So without further ado, let us get started. First book that I have, I found it and I squealed because I've been wanting to read this book ever since it was released. It's like one of the books that I'm always looking for and I finally found a copy of it and it was If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo and just something about this book I've heard amazing things about it everybody seems to love it so so much it's about a girl who is transgender and she falls for a boy and it's her story of telling him that she's transgender and apparently it's just like so beautiful and amazing and I'm just so excited to finally get to read this book the next book I bought solely based on the cover honestly I don't really know that much about it but it is The Probability of Miracles by Wendy Wonder. I honestly don't know that much about it other than it's about a girl who has cancer and she's trying to complete a bucket list. That's all I know. I literally bought it because it is aesthetically pleasing to me and I wanted it on my shelf so. The next book I was really excited about because if you know me you know I love Disney so I was super excited when I found it. It's called Mistress of Evil and this is like the Maleficent story. There's like a whole series about different Disney villains. This is the fourth one I believe. I just love me some Disney so I'm super excited to see what this is all about and if it's good and if I like it. The next book I bought because I've seen it around and it was one of those buy four get one free kind of things and I was like we recognize the cover, we gonna buy it. But it is Starters by Lisa Price. I honestly don't know that much about it other than it's sci-fi, so. I don't usually read a lot of sci-fi, so I'm kind of excited to see what it's all about, see if I like the genre, because I don't often read it. I've read a couple that I've enjoyed. I've also read a couple that I hate, so hopefully this is one that I enjoy. The next book I have is The Stories of Dorothy Must Die. I have the first two books of the series up there. Y'all can't see that. I saw it and I was like, you know, we have the first two books. We might as well get the novellas. We'll probably pick up three and four and however many are in the series because that's the way I am before we read them. So here we are. And also, again, aesthetically pleasing to me. Apparently I just really like ombre, okay? I'm sorry, I just do, so I bought it. The next book I bought because I have the first book on the way from Book Outlet, so I was like, it's here, might as well buy it. So we have the second in the series. It is The Crown's Fate by Evelyn Skye. This is the second book to The Crown's Game, I believe it's called, but it's on the way. So, you know, I saw it for $2, I was like, we doing it. We're getting it, so we got it. I don't know that much about it other than it's fantasy. I'm not gonna read the back of it because it's the second book in the series and we haven't read the first and I don't wanna know, so. The next book I picked because I've seen it around and I think the covers are super creepy. I haven't heard that they're very good or anything like that, solely based on the cover, but it is Asylum by Madeline Rooks and it has like creepy pictures inside of it and I love books with creepy pictures and like add-ons that kind of thing like Night Film one of my favorite books. We also love mental illness horror scary shit. We're hopefully gonna read this soon and I think it'll be a pretty fast read because a lot of it is pictures so we get in that Goodreads goal up Am I right ladies? The next book that I picked up was based off of the author because he wrote Black Prism which Reagan from Peru's Project raves about all the time and I was like, hmm, a complete trilogy for the price of one book but not really for the price of one book because we're at the thrift store. But it is Night Angels, a complete trilogy by Brent Weeks. This is a chunker of a book. I could literally kill somebody with this or give them a concussion, either one. Am I ever going to read this book? Probably not, but we bought it. You know, maybe if I go on a long trip then we'll bring it so we don't have to bring 80 books we can just bring one chunker of a book it's high fantasy which i don't usually read apparently it's one of the most popular epic fantasy series in recent years so the next book i have i bought because of the author i own her other two books i'm not 100 sure if she has more i own two of them and it's a matching set so i was like 
let's get it. But it is The Geography of Me and You by Jennifer E. Smith. And like I said, literally only because I have the matching other two books. So we need a completed series because I'm a loser like that, okay? I don't know much about it. It's contemporary. We're gonna read it in between our murder, murder, stabby, stabby books because we all know your girl loves her murder, murder, stabby, stabby, but sometimes you need a break, you know? The next book I have is Sea of Shadows by Kelly Armstrong. I don't know that much about this one other than it's a fantasy paranormal book. I see it all the time on booktube and I believe it was pretty popular when it first came out. It says that it's a blend of fantasy and horror so I really like horror so I'm here for it. The final book I got because it was one of those like buy four get one free and I recognize the author so we picked it on up but it is Mary Higgins Clark's Where Are the Children. I'm assuming it's just one of many thriller suspense mystery novels that she has written. We excited. We love mystery thriller suspense novels. I'm assuming the children go missing. It, yes, yes. It says that she looks into her backyard for her little boy and girl and finds only one red mitten. She knows that the nightmare is beginning. The kids went missing, which is tragic. But will they be found? Stay tuned. We'll see. Alright guys, so that was my little haul video for this time around. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these and what you thought of them. And I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!